That was it for uh, that event. That's not it for the dungeon. That was it, Ben. Yeah. Sometimes you find them in dungeons. I don't even know you can find them in dungeons. Yeah, um, I come across them usually in the open world, but I came across one event a couple days ago that had me running for my life. <laughs> it was so crazy, I had to put it in a short. Oh. You know, like, yeah, I was, man. I mean, I had to run so much to avoid the super big goat that was chasing me. And I was by myself, so I was just like laying poison traps and uh, using... I don't even think I had the Caltrops at the time. I think I'd already switched it up, but... Man, it was nuts. That was a legitimate event, just right in the middle of the gun. Just, just like the one we just did. I think that one seemed like it was a bit crazy, though, because I was by myself, so... Yeah. Yeah, he's over here standing on the other side of the poison thinking he's safe. Somebody should have told him about the shadow step. Oh, that's is that the end of the dungeon? I think it is. Okay, that's an aspect you can use there. Huh? I said that's an aspect that we just got that you can use. Oh wait, how do I use them? Uh you have to go to the occultist and have it put on like a weapon or something. Okay. Yeah, you can have to put on a piece of gear, too. That's how I can do this move right here, uh, where it hits all around me. Like, normally it just hits like an opponent. Ah. Yeah. I didn't even look at his health bar to see if he was going to be But clearly he is. Damage. Find out he was an elite till the end. Uh, legendary. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get that uh, infiltrator's aspect. How many people are using this move? Uh, what's the most popular used aspect? Probably even stuff like, you know, what's the town people mostly use? So it's, yeah. it's pretty in depth, yeah. But I do think that the, uh, the Bone Spear or the Blood Spear is like one of the more popular Necromancer moves. Yeah, I was using the Bone Spear first and I loved it and that's right off the. Uh... Less spear. Better? I would say because that's like lead damage. Oh. And then uh the bone spear just does damage like all at once. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I I give the blood spear a little advantage. That's the case. A couple of uh a couple of roots twin sisters over here. Just take your time, I got it. Oh man. Thanks for that. You came in and got the kill with the blood spear. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, I turned around to come and get you. That side looks like it's pretty powerful. I know you were saying that it ain't the strongest weapon, but it looks like it's putting in work. The size? Yeah, the, the one you're using. We got an event over here. It's not even a size. It's just like warps into a size. Oh. And I don't think it is the strongest one, but I just like using it. 
because like I don't really like using melee or like range stuff. I just want to go and just like I don't know, just melee everything. Yeah. And I have a move that can get close to you, for it to do its thing. So that's why I'm using the sight. What move is it? It's uh, if you can't see, it's this move. Like I stomp on the ground or something and like a bunch of blood vessels come out. Uh let me see it. No, it was caught. Is that it there? Okay. No. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the necros necros got some stuff going on there. Place is right in the middle. Stops on the ground and blood doesn't come out. Yeah, this is the, yeah, that's the thing I was talking about. Yeah. yeah. You can't be taking them things lightly, man. They'll put you down. Ah, uh, you froze him like right before he swung his axe at me. He was frozen in the up position. No elites? No elites. There's a lot more enemies to spawn, though. Yeah, elites probably gonna spawn here in a bit. Probably. I think that's it.